apologize if the um, lighting is really bad. It's almost 7 p.m. I have been thinking about getting a cat for the last couple of months, but I actually found a cat that I wanted about a week ago. So it's just been a rush to get everything done. And luckily I actually work in a pet shop. So I pretty much just got everything from there apart from two things. I have ordered a couple of bits online that haven't arrived yet. They're just little bits and bobs. And today I ordered her a bed. I know cats don't um, always use beds, but this one is like a big fluffy pillow so fingers crossed she actually uses it the last thing that i need to actually buy for her is a cat tower um i'm just yet to find one that i like and that's gonna go in the living room or the hallway other than that i think i've got um everything out i just want to say please be kind in the comments because this is my first ever cat so i found the kitten that i'm getting on gumtree um she's three months old and she's a cute little rag doll which are my favorite type of cat i just think they're so beautiful oh, my sister's calling me i'm gonna leave in two minutes or five minutes okay bye right, bye so that was my sister because she's gonna be um pick me up in a couple of minutes but yeah as i was saying she's a three month old ragdoll kitchen she's bi-colored she's got the gorgeous bright blue eyes and she is just adorable so she's had her two jabs already she's also been fleed and wormed the only thing i'm gonna have to do is get her spayed uh because the lady i'm getting her from she's actually going on holiday in a couple of days so she said she would normally um get the kitten spayed that's if that's what the person wanted um but she's not gonna have enough time to book her into the vets which is fine um i can get that sorted for her and i'll go to the vets where i've taken my previous animal it's the same vet that i've done my work experience in twice it's really lovely there um so that's probably the one i'm going to take her to so my mum's currently given the flat um, a quick clean um, so that the floors are all clean for when we get back and this morning I just made a few last minute adjustments in my room such as removing my cacti I've had sitting on my window ledge for years and um, done a few other bits and bobs that you that you would have seen um, I did actually film a few clips a couple of days ago so it's just a haul so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that now so this is where I'm keeping all of her toys. So she's got this Trixie tunnel here. Trixie is one of my favourite brands. They do some really nice small animal stuff as well. And their cat and dog stuff is also really good. Well, all their animal stuff is quite good to be fair. Um, so I picked up this tunnel. It's really cute. From Poundland, I picked up this blanket. It's actually a baby blanket. And this is to go inside her carrier, which I'm going to pick up for her today or tomorrow. And it was the last white one. And this was £3. They also had a really nice grey one too. But I just prefer had a look of the white one and then the rest of the stuff in here is just toys uh this is also from poundland so this was a pound um and you basically just pull it and it vibrates and yeah it's a little cute mouth and because bella is going to be an indoor cat and i'm going to be at work for most of the day i've tried to get her a few toys and i will be getting a few more just to keep her entertained and also just to see what she likes and doesn't like so first of all i got her this regular i think it's called um and this is for her to scratch it is infused with catnip but they do say cats don't um feel the effects of catnip until about six months there are some cats that are sensitive to catnip before six months it's got a fluffy tail and i love the colors on this so hopefully she likes this and i picked up these kong kitten uh catnip infused mice so there was a few different color combinations these are really cute um i don't think they crinkle oh they crinkle a little bit um and yeah these are just sweet little mice next i got this which is quite fun actually it lights up when you whack it so it just looks like that it's pretty crazy then i got this treat ball i thought this would be quite fun for her so i can put some treats in here and then she can work for her treats so yeah it's a little treat dispenser and it's pink obviously <laughs> and then the last toy i've got her so far is this one that i have been eyeing up in work for months and it was actually the last one on the shelf as well it's just this um i forgot what they're called um it's one of those toys with the stick and the uh, string sort of dangles off it with these bits attached so it's just got these really pretty pom-poms so cute and then it's got two gold bells on the end so this is her her toy basket pretty much and um all the stuff that i've got for her toy wise so far they did have some really cute pretty pink um litter trays but this is actually going in the bathroom and our bathroom is like black and white so this kind of fits in perfectly with the theme i would have preferred a nice pastel pink one but i knew my mum would be like no <laughs> so i got this one to match the bathroom and then i got the uh the trixie scoop to kind of 
kind of match. Hopefully this is a good scoop. I'm going to be picking up her litter today or tomorrow and I'm going to be getting the non-clamping cat sand one which is perfect for kitchen. So next I've got her food dishes. So these are really 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 cute. I'm quite happy with these to be fair. So I wanted to get a white or grey food dish because I'm planning on putting it in the kitchen or the hallway but I found a nice little spot for it in the hallway just next to my bedroom door. So I only had one grey one and they didn't have a white one left but they had one pink one so I thought grey and pink goes together and I actually put these out last night and my mum saw them in the morning she says yeah they look quite good there so she approves which is good so this one will probably be for water and then this one will probably be for food and I think they're so cute and the fact that they're cat shaped is just adorable so lastly I'm going to go over her food and treats and this is something I spent a lot of time researching into um, because obviously I want to make sure she's on a good diet and luckily the lady who I'm getting her from has done a great job with her diet so far and I'm really happy with what she's feeding her. So I pretty much bought the food that she's already on. So yesterday I picked up the High Life Tasty Tuna just some pouches and you get eight pouches in a pack. The lady said she likes both the tuna and the chicken one so I just got one of each and then as for dry food she's on the Purina one and this is the kitchen this is the three kg bag they do smaller bags um but they didn't have any of the smaller bags and then as a complimentary food this is something I can give to her about two to three times a week so applause is a really good brand and they do a lot of these tins which pretty much has uh, meat in it and they have a lot of flavors for adults but there's only two flavors for kittens so this is the chicken one it's 50% chicken rice vegetable and a gelin agent and there's no additives um, and it tells you how much to feed and then in this little basket I've put all of her pouches in so these are all the pouches they look the same so I'll have to turn them around to know what flavor they are so at the so at the front is the chicken and then at the back is the fish and I can kind of alternate between the two and I tried not to go too crazy with the treats but there's so many to choose from and yeah I managed to pick out about five and these are all kitten friendly so to start off with I picked up uh, these Webox treats this brand is very popular because they do these um, sticks and they also do something called Licky Licks I did pick up a pack of Licky Licks and um, yeah they're really 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 popular they have a range of different flavors so these are the yummy yums and these are in salmon flavor and these are semi moist tasty treats and they come in a resealable pack I also got her the Webox tasty sticks mini mix comes with four flavors the last Webox thing I got was a pack of Licky Licks and I went for the milk and yogurt flavor just to make a change from something meaty I thought I'll try her on something else then I got these Carmen tablets apparently they do work and they're quite good and this is just to reduce stress in cats and she's allowed two treats daily we have sprays and tablets that work also and then the last pack of treats I got her were the and they're salmon and trout flavor and I thought these would be perfect for putting in that little uh rollable thing the treat dispenser so that's pretty much all the treats that I've picked for her I'm not sure how long these treats will last they'll definitely last a month at least or more because I don't really want to go too crazy on buying her like, too many treats and stuff um but yeah so far I'm really happy with um everything that I've picked out so I've just got home from work and I picked up a few more things so the first thing I got was this carrier I ended up going for the smaller one in the end so this is a Trixie carrier and it's got the size at the bottom I just picked up four more tins of food and these Johnson's general clean and wipes so you get 30 in the pack it contains natural and soothing calomel and aloe vera and these are just good for wiping down your hair so I have actually gotten her a few more things since that original haul that I did at the start of the week. Um, so I did film a couple of clips um, earlier today of some new bits. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that now. So I just want to show you a few new things that I've got her. under my bed. I have all of my hamster cleaning supplies and then I've also just popped in some stuff for Bella. So I picked up a pack of these wipes from work. I've also got this gorgeous grooming set. So I got my sister to order this for me off Amazon because she has Prime um, and she gave it to me yesterday when I saw her. I'm so 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 happy with these two so it just comes with a comb which is perfect 
for long haired cats and then it comes with this brush which is gorgeous and they feel really good quality too. I was a little bit apprehensive um, about ordering a brush online because these kind of things I like to see in person and we do have them at work but they're not as cute as this and these two looked really pretty so I was just hoping they would be good quality and the thing I love about this brush is that it has this cover so it's got wire bristles and unlike most brushes it's actually got these plastic tips so it doesn't feel so rough on the skin and then you've got this button here which you just press and it allows all the fur to be pushed up so you can clean it easier so yesterday at work i picked up bella a new toy it came in in one of our deliveries and it was the only one that came in and i thought this is so cute i have to get this for her so it's another kong toy and this one is catnip infused probably won't give this to her um, just yet this is one of the toys that I'm gonna say I don't want to give her everything at once and then she gets bored of everything um, but although she already has a food and treat dispenser this one's a little bit different um, and it's just a rubber one it has a very nice texture to it decided to name her Bella I think she just looks like a Bella it suits her really well um, the lady actually lives a little over an hour away so my sister's gonna be picking me up and we're gonna be driving there together um, I got her a carrier um, I got this from work of course um, I actually went for the smaller one there is one that is bigger but this one is perfectly fine for now and inside we've just got her little um, blankie and the lady said she's gonna be giving me a ball of her mum's scent on it So me and my sister went to pick up Bella um, last night. The drive went really well, but it was quite long getting there. It was a bit longer than we expected, I think, because we had to go through central London. It did take over an hour to get there. And the lady was really nice. She was super, super, super friendly. And we was talking to her for about 30 or 40 minutes. And she also brought out Bella's mum. She's so cute. She looks just like Bella, but Bella obviously just looks like a younger version of her. So the lady gave me this little toy, which is a toy that Bella had, and it had her mum sent on it. So I popped this in her carrier. Um, she also gave me something out. Bella's just laying on the floor. Um, where did I put oh, it's in here? Um, so she also gave me this, and this is a flea treatment. It's just a spot on. So she did actually bath Bella yesterday and put a flea treatment on her. So it's just at the back of the neck, and then she's just given me uh, this one, which I can put on in like a month or so. So Bella done really, really, really well on the journey home. I wasn't too sure how she was going to be, but she was so calm and she was just laying in her carrier. And then when we got home, I opened the door of the carrier. It didn't take her long to step out. She was just laying down. She looked so calm comfortable and that's pretty much what she does she just lays down everywhere and it's the cutest thing ever like at the moment she's just laying down <laughs> right there I was trying to get ready she was literally following me everywhere eventually she ended up playing with this toy which I didn't see her play with yesterday and she was also playing with the treat ball I did put two treats in there um I tried her on the calming one yesterday she didn't eat it and I put it in here she still didn't eat it and then yesterday I tried her on um, this one which she didn't eat but then I put it in the ball came with the ball and then it came out and then she was playing with the treat 
and then um, eventually she did eat it. She really likes this. I'm going to try not to make the bells <laughs> jingle because she'll probably come running over. Um, but the lady said she likes anything with a bell on it, so she really loves this. The only treat she really seems to like are these Webox salmon treats. They don't really smell the best, to be fair, but they're really soft and she really likes these. I did put some dry food in her bowl yesterday. She did eat a little bit of the dry food, and then this morning when I got up, I gave her a pouch of wet food. I gave her the High Life chicken one. She pretty much, she pretty much ate. 99.9% .9 of it but she didn't eat it all in one go she sort of ate most of it and then went back to it about two to three times um and then eventually i just chucked the last bit away because you can't really leave that food sitting out like you can with the uh, dry food i was getting a bit worried last night because the lady did say as soon as we get in pop her in the litter tray and we did that but she didn't use it and she didn't use it all night. In the morning when I woke up, um, she still hadn't used it. And my mum got up to go to work and she was literally following my mum around everywhere. And then um, as soon as my mum left, she actually used her litter tray. The lady did say she is litter trained. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, the lady um, has already like litter trained her and stuff. I think she actually sort of knows her name because sometimes when you call her, she does run up to you, but then other times she likes to pretend like she can't hear you. She pretty much slept in the bathroom. She really likes mats and rugs and she really likes the carpet. And in the bathroom, we've got two mats in there and she just loves laying on them. So I did shut the living room door in the night my mum shut her door but I left the bathroom door open so she could go in the hallway and I left my bedroom door open in the night I actually heard her come into my room so I sat up because I wasn't like asleep yet and then she almost tried to like run back out and then I called her and then she came in she can be quite playful when she wants to be but she's she's quite sleepy at the moment but she's honestly so calm and so docile and I love her little paws as well the cutest little thing and her little her little grey tail um but yeah so i'm thinking of getting her a new collar this one is cute the color is cute but it looks a little bit tatty and i don't really like the bow on the other side but this color combination is really cute it looks pretty on her but my sister's going to be picking me up in a couple of minutes and um, we're going to head to my workplace the pet shop i might pick up a few bits for her <laughs> she's so cute i think that's my sister messaging me oh no it's alex <laughs> my sister's left now so i need to get my bag ready i think i'm gonna pop this in her carrier again i did actually take the um door off yesterday so that she could go in it if she wanted to she didn't really go in it much but i just thought if she wanted a safe space to go she could crawl in here but she's been quite happy and comfortable you are the cutest little cat i'm not gonna put her in a carrier just yet i'm gonna wait until my sister turns up. I'm not sure if my sister's gonna come upstairs. I'm completely ready. Just gotta get that one into her carrier. Come on, Bella. Come on. In you go. Well done. You can hear her purr and bless her. Hopefully she'll be okay. And she does really like that blanket in there though. She does look quite comfortable in there to be fair. Okay, if you go in then I can shut the door. we're back home we weren't out for long uh we literally just went to my workplace and she had a cuddle with everyone i'm gonna go ahead and let her out she looks quite quite sleepy in there so i'm just gonna let her out come on <laughs> yeah you're home hi so um, I don't know if I mentioned yesterday, I think I already mentioned it, that she had a... Oh, she's looking at me. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> she um she got given a flea treatment yesterday, so um, behind the back of her ear, some of it got on there a little bit. And it's a bit dry, so if you're wondering what that um, orange stuff is, it's just from the, from the flea treatment.
She's being quite playful at the moment. Hello. Hi. She's a bit more awake now. So I'm going to try her on these um, Wibox Tasty Sticks. So there's a few different flavours. And these are just the um, the mini. <laughs> You're in the way, Bella. These are just the mini sticks. So this one is with cheese. Um, we've got one with mold, one with salami. I'm going to try her on this liver one. So I'm going to try her on this Kong toy, this one is a scratching one. So I'm just going to go ahead and give her another pouch of the wet food. This is the tuna one, she had the chicken one this morning. Do you know I'm doing your food? You must know. <laughs> Hello, kids morning. So today I'm going to be trying Bella on some of this applause um, kitchen food. This is just a chicken one. It doesn't smell too bad. It kind of smells like corned beef. I know it's not beef. But it kind of smells like corned beef. It smells a lot nicer than her um, high life pouches. She's literally right here on my side because she's waiting for her food. I'm coming, Bella. Bless you. I'm coming. I'll have your food in a minute. I'm going to give her half of this because it's not a complete meal. It's a complimentary meal. Um, so I'll give her some dry food, half of this and a pouch. And you're not supposed to be up there. Please get off my bedside table, Bella. Come on, Bella. Let's go to out your breakfast. Come on, come on. So this is this morning's food. So she's got some biscuits there, the high life tuna in the middle. And then on the end, she's got the applause chicken. She's going wee. Or maybe poo. Lovely. <laughs> she always covers it up though, which is quite good. Oh, she's coming. I can hear her. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I could hear her making that chirping noise. Hi. They usually make that noise when they're really happy and content. So it's been a week since I've had Bella, and she is so cute. <laughs> 
isn't it, Bella? It's been a week. Been one whole week. She really likes the camera strap. No, Bella. <laughs> no. Bella, no, not the camera strap. Hi, you are so cute. You are. You, okay, no, no. No, Bella. <laughs> No, Bella. I thought I would just give you a bit of an update on how she's getting on. Um, she's honestly so cute. She's been such a good companion. On my window ledge, she loves it up there because she can look out and see the birds and the people. Cats just love looking out the window in general, so she loves sitting on my window ledge. I just have to make sure my window is shut and it's a good thing I removed all my plants and stuff. Um, and yeah, she spends a lot of time up there. Um, at the moment, it's really, really, really hot. So when it's really hot and sunny, um, she doesn't like sitting at the window when it's early in the morning or in the evenings when it gets a bit cooler She will literally just lay up there for hours So I thought I would give you guys an update on what I'm feeding So this is pretty much what I've got left I've obviously still got her dry food because I stupidly got a huge bag of that um, And I do want to transition her over to a better quality dry food But how I'm currently feeding her is I'll give her one of the high life pouches in the morning So she's got the tuna and the chicken So I've got a few packs left out of the two boxes um so i'm currently giving her wet food in the morning and in the evening so she does actually have a whole pouch um so she's going through two pouches a day and i leave dry food out for her during the day so she'll either get a whole pouch or she'll get half a pouch and one of the applause tins so the tuna one she really likes and she really likes the chicken as well she loves she loves both of these um and i think i got three of each so she's got three left um so this food should last her a couple of days i'm actually going to be switching her over to the untamed food <laughs> she's on my bed hello hi you are so cute there's no treats in there by the way i've taken them out of the packets <laughs> But she loves going on my bed now. She's so, oh, she's so cute. So I ordered her a box this morning, eight pounds for 12 tins, um, but I got a discount code. So I got three pound off. So I only had to pay five pounds and I got to customize how much of each flavor I wanted to get her. And then this is her subscription. So if she doesn't like the food, I'll cancel it, but I'm pretty sure she will like it. I also thought I would show you what I've done in this drawer. So I decided to put her treats in this drawer with my hamster food and treats, because it made sense to keep the treats in my room rather than in the kitchen. My favourite ones are these Webox ones. Whenever she hears the packet, she runs up to me and she sits down waiting for a treat. Um, these are the salmon ones. They do a chicken flavour, but um, they haven't had the chicken flavoured ones um, at work for ages. Um, and then these ones are the hard little heart biscuits, which she does like, but I realise I have to break it into three pieces so it's easier for her to eat because she's a kitten. She's still got her tiny little kitten teeth. Um, she's four months now, so her adult teeth should be coming through very soon. And the same with these carmen treats as well. Um, she does like them I just have to break them into smaller pieces for her and then here we've got a bunch of these Webox tasty sticks which she loves I think I've tried her on every single flavor now and she really likes them so I just break them up into tiny little pieces for her and then we've got these licky licks these are the milk and yogurt flavor and she absolutely loves these and it's so cute to feed her them so usually once a day I'll give her one of these or licky licks and then I'll also give her like one of these a day I just break up into small pieces and then over here I've got all her like grooming stuff so I've got her brush her wipes and her um spot on treatment from next month and then at the back here here I've got a few new bits so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got from that. So I picked up another toy. I couldn't resist because these look so cute and it rattles and um yeah so this is just another toy for her and it just looks really pretty um i picked up a carmen spray so this is the same as the um treats but this is the spray i also got her a flea comb these are really good to have but i actually got this from um from amazon and this is by rosewood um i also picked up a um pair of scissors these are for her claws because her claws are so sharp <laughs> they're really sharp and um, they really need cutting so i just picked up these ones picked her up two more packs of treats because um obviously i couldn't resist so these are some more licky licks so these ones are actually longer than the milk and yogurt ones those are the only ones that come in a pack of seven and they're small every other flavor is quite long so i got the liver sausage and cat grass apparently this is the most popular flavor and then i also picked up the salmon flavor because i know she really loves um salmon flavored treats so eventually i'll try her on all the flavors um but i'm just not going to buy her any more treats for now because these are going to last 
at least two to three months. Also picked her up uh, three tins of food to try out. So these are all kitten food. So this brand is actually new. I think it's an American brand. And we also do the dry food at work. And I really want to get a small pack so I can try her on this dry food because I'm planning on either switching her over to this brand or the James Well Beloved or the Applause. But I'm just going to try the small 400 gram bag there. And yeah, so this is the wet food they do for kittens. So this is in chicken and fish flavor. She likes both chicken and fish and then also another really good brand is nature's menu and this is the kitten chicken and turkey with salmon and then this is the chicken yeah it's nice that they do two flavors a lot of brands they just do one flavor for their kitten food but if you're lucky they might do two um, it's nice to give them a little bit of variety and especially when they're young it's quite nice to try them out on different things and this is just how i've organized everything for now really happy with the little collection of stuff it's slowly growing the toy can go into her toy basket and i almost got i did get her another new toy i couldn't resist getting this it was like seven pounds it was really cheap and i got it for like five pounds with my staff discount and she loves it and then these tins can just go sorry bella these tins can just go back into the cupboard and I have these scissors here just because it's so much easier to open the pouch so she has been drinking her water I know some cats are quite fussy and they'll only drink from a fountain I would love to have a fountain um but there's just nowhere to put it I've just made myself a um iced coffee I left her out a bit of biscuits she's actually eating quite a bit of them a lot more than I expected her to no you can't have this I'm sorry but the glass is probably nice and cold though <laughs> I don't really know if she's even going to need this anymore um, because I don't, where is she? Because I don't actually think she needs a bed. She just pretty much sleeps anywhere. I'm planning on putting it under my desk uh, because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. I've put some toilet roll tubes in there. Um, it's got her blanket in there. She doesn't actually go in there. So I think I'm going to put this in the hallway because I can take the lid off. I'll take the blanket out. So that just comes apart like that and I can put this in the cupboard and I can put a blanket with her toys. She's currently licking my leg. So I ordered this from a brand called Omelette. They have some really nice cat beds. I just wanted one of those nice sort of fluffy donut beds they have loads on instagram they have loads on amazon but um when you actually see the pictures in the reviews they're not as fluffy and as good quality as they look in the pictures that they're using um and i just wanted a nice white fluffy bed and um, i found one on omelette which looked perfect they have like 20 different colors i was torn between the white and the blush pink but eventually i ended up going for the white one hi you don't miss a thing do you bella <laughs> bless her she's honestly so cute aren't you bella i think she might like this i don't know we'll see oh it's a lot smaller than i thought it would be which is a good thing i thought it was going to be huge <laughs> oh my God. so if i wanted the legs then they basically just screw on right here and bella do you mind <laughs> not making so much noise it's really nice and plump no can we not play with the plastic quite nice and plump and you can actually take the uh fluffy bit off and pop it in the washing machine when it gets dirty so this was to go under my desk what do you think <laughs> typical cat she's not even interested hey look look bella Oh, she looks so cute on it. No, she's more interested in the paper. I don't know if it's just me, but I swear she's grown in the week that I've had her. She looks so much bigger. She feels a little bit heavier. But to be honest, she probably has grown a little bit. To be fair, she's so playful and she does bite, but she does bite gently. But her claws are quite long, so I do need to, I do need to cut.
cut them and her little tail is so cute but I'm not going to see her full colour in until she's four years old and that's when they're fully grown because ragdolls they're quite they're quite slow growing cats so her mum was two and she looks just like her mum um, but her mum's just a bit bigger obviously but her mum's not even fully grown yet so it's going to be a little while until we see her full size and her entire colour plus she's got her summer coat at the moment and then in the winter she'll be she'll be a bit fluffier won't you Bella this morning she was chasing a fly <laughs> which came in my window and she was literally chasing it around um but she's so fun and she's so playful sorry for the crinkling noises it's probably really annoying let me pick up this paper oh dear Bella So I took her collar off the other day just to tighten it a little bit because it kept on getting stuck in her mouth and um, turns out the collar is from Pets at Home. You can't really see it but it is quite a cute collar. It's like a pink and it's like a pink and white one. It's a bit dirty so it can, it does sort of, it could do with a bit of a wash <laughs> but it's a really cute collar. Um, so yeah, it's from Pets at Home and I had a look on their website and they do the same kitten collar but in pink. Quite hard to find really nice kitten collars because I just wanted a sort of pastel pink one. So yeah, the Pets at Home one seems like it'll be a good idea and it's got an easy release clip as well. So where the fish is, that's the clip. It's, it hasn't got a buckle or anything like that. You are so cute. Aren't you Bella? I do try and clean her paws with the... um with the wipes she sort of lets me sort of doesn't she's got a little bit of extra fur there this excess bit of fur there in between her like toe beans um it is actually quite good to to cut them and they do her nose and paw balm at work which i think i'm gonna have to get because her paws look a little bit dry she's like i want to get away from you now we keep touching my paws <sighs> it's way too hot isn't it better it's just too hot today no cats can't have coffee unfortunately bella no coffee for you, I'm sorry. Nope. Nope. I can't share it with you, I'm sorry. So her cooling mat came today and this is the one I got for her off Amazon. I tried to get her to stay on it but she kept jumping off so I pulled out the treat bag and she always comes and sits in front of me waiting for a treat so I thought if I do that then she'll realise that the cooling mat is a cooling mat because they have to sit on it for it to actually go cold. I'll give her another treat she's doing really well. So she loves these um they are a little bit mushed up so they sort of look like this but I just break it into small chunks so they're really soft and I just break it into tiny chunks that was a little bit too big but she's eating it anyway I don't know if she's actually gonna stay on the mat now but it does get cool once you um oops, don't bite me it does get cool once you um sit on it for a little bit and she's licking my hand I need to rush out for work so I have to do this quite quickly. But yesterday at work I did pick up some yoghurt drops uh, for the hammy as well as this treat bar which I picked up for them um, a couple of weeks back and they really really loved it so I thought I would treat them to something because I haven't got them anything in a little while. So I received my untamed parcel about two days ago. I got it delivered to work and I opened it up yesterday and I've given Bella two flavours so far so I'm going to quickly go through what I got in the box. So I love the packaging so on this side it says claw open here and on this side it says warning if left empty and unattended this box will contain a cat and Bella did literally jump in this box um, and their packaging is just so pretty. So inside there was just this little leaflet which had some information on there. Um, it's the same information that's on their on their website, but this was really nice. And then it also came with this little note which was lovely, so you can pause to read that. And then it came with this tote bag which I was really excited for, but I didn't realise what it said on there. I just saw a tote bag and thought oh, I love tote bags. Um, so it just says untamed on this side and then on this side which is so true. I sent a picture of this to my sister yesterday. It says my child has four legs and is covered in fur. Bella, what are you doing? 
<laughs> and um, she's got a brown paw. I don't know what she did, but this morning I noticed she had a brown paw. It wasn't as bad as it was earlier. I did try and clean it and she's been cleaning it as well. But I don't know what it is. It's not blood and it's not poo because I smelt it. I just don't know what she's dipped her paw in overnight but hopefully hopefully that comes out so these are all the flavors and these are all the options that are available for kittens so they actually sent me one of the wrong flavors so i wanted two of the no i wanted three of the chocolate chicken and then in the rest of the fish flavors i just wanted two each so this is their trial pack um there's 12 tins in total but i've used two already so the fallen fishy i think has three different types of fish so it's tuna mackerel and sardine and she had this yesterday for dinner and she liked it but I did notice there was some small little bones in there but when you see the meat in this it's literally proper chunk and all of these flavors are in gravy by the way they have jelly flavors but they're only complimentary whereas the ones in gravy are a complete meal and we've got tuna and shrimp she's never had shrimp before so um that'll be interesting to see if she likes that then we've got a uh, tuck in tuna which is tuna we've got chocolate chicken with ham i was going to try her on this today but she's never had ham so i thought i would just plate safe and go for the chicken so she had the chicken this morning i only gave her half a tin this morning um just because it looked like quite a lot because it's so chunky and it's very rich because it's just pieces of chicken i wasn't sure if i should give her the whole thing so i just gave her half so I thought I would do a really quick haul because I forgot to leave out for work. There's a few new bits that I've picked up. Um, so yesterday I bought her another pack of the High Life um, chicken pouches. Um, she does like these. It would be nice to have these anyway. And I did give her half of one yesterday along with the chicken from the um, Untamed box. She had the chicken and ham uh, yesterday. And then here I've got some more food bits. So these I'm going to bring back to work because yesterday I tried her on. This is Nature's Menu Range, which is a really good brand for cats and dogs. And it's kind of like a mousse and she didn't like it. She didn't touch it. So I'm going to bring these back to work. And then they also have this flavour, which is chicken and turkey. But it's basically just mush, really. <laughs> so yeah, she didn't like that. Um, yesterday I picked up two more tins of the applause. Um, so this is a complimentary food. Um, so I got the tuna and the chicken. Then I know I wasn't going to get any more treats, but um, these are her favourite treats. And the pack that I originally got her is almost finished. She can have two of these a day, and I usually give these to her daily. So I picked up another pack in the salmon flavour. Then I also picked up these tuna and salmon sticks. So these are like the mini sticks, but these are the big ones. And it's also got added malt to reduce hair wool formulation. Probably won't open these for a little while, probably until um, the mini sticks have been eaten. Um, but I just thought I'll pick these up because they're kitten friendly and she does like tuna and salmon. And then I also picked up another box of the Licky Licks in the Milk and Yogurt. She really likes this flavour and I like that these ones are quite tiny compared to the other flavours. Um, I haven't tried on the other flavours yet but she loves this. And then I picked up this toy for her at work. It was only a pound and it rattles and she loves this. There you go Bella. Yep, she loves that toy. <laughs> As you can see and then i picked her up this collar from amazon it's this really nice leather collar um it's a little bit too big for her um it is adjustable um but it's a little bit too big for her because this is an adult collar didn't think it would fit but this will be quite nice for when she's a bit bigger and it has the clip at the side which is the, the safety clip so it's like a easy release if she gets Cool. I also got her this multifunction spoon. You can use this to scoop out like the pet food. And the last thing I picked up was this nose and paw balm. Um, this is really good. I got this because her paws were getting quite dry. So it's almost like a Vaseline really. And they're nice and smooth again. She's currently <laughs> scratching my leg. Hello. Hi, and yesterday um, she decided to step in her poo. So I had to clean her back leg and it smells pooey still so I'm gonna pick up a pack of so I'm gonna pick up a um, kitten shampoo today um, because I thought that would be quite useful to have when we have incidents like that when I need to clean poo off her um, <laughs> so yeah that wasn't fun yesterday was it and she got it all over the bathroom I don't know what happened so continuing on from 
yesterday and managed to pick up a shampoo from work so I got this Animalology cat shampoo they also have a spray one which is a no rinse shampoo but we didn't have that in stock at work so I just picked up the um the general shampoo and this one smells so good it's a peach scented one so I'm also about to use this for the first time so for breakfast today uh, Bella's having the untamed tucking tuna and gravy so I've just given her half a tin and um, she can have the other half for dinner so this fits on perfectly and then this can go straight into the fridge and then and then I got her one more new toy which my manager did order in so I just asked him if I could have a look with the Trixie catalogue because he can order anything in from the catalogue and I found this really cute toy I was actually looking at scratch and toast um but then I ended up finding this really cute Trixie toy so this is the kitten one and they have a slightly bigger one for adult cats and Bella loves this because it's got a ball in it so anything has a bell she loves and she usually comes running but she's too busy in her breakfast she's like I'll play later <laughs> but usually if you jingle any bell she comes running and um, the good thing about this ball is that well with all of them you can actually take them out oh I can hear her scratching at the door oh, there she is. hi did you hear the bell oh she's so sweet the mouth is a little bit dirty though she's got food on her is that nice she had the tuck in tuna for breakfast today. Did you enjoy that, Bella? Yes. Um, and yeah, so you can remove all the balls, which is good. Um, and yeah, she absolutely loves this toy. She was playing with it <laughs> so much yesterday. It just keeps her entertained for a very, very, very long time. You can hear her purring. <laughs> it's just such a simple design. But she absolutely loves it. And the fact that it has a bell in there just makes it even better. So you can pop the balls out and she enjoys playing with them just as much as the actual toy. She's so sweet. I wonder if these can fit around here as well. Oh, they can. This is such a good little toy. The only thing I don't like about the one with the bell is that it has all these little gaps. And it's like she keeps getting her nails stuck in it. So I don't really like giving her this toy unsupervised. But because um, these balls can also fit in. And they don't have any holes in it. I'm quite happy to leave this out for her to to play with. But it's a bit of a it's a bit of a shame. Oops. She's really into this game. <laughs> so a couple of days ago, I picked up. Um, this litter for um, for Bella. She's currently on the cat sand one, the non-clumping litter, which is recommended for kittens. Um, however, I find it to be quite dusty and she is sneezing a little bit and that litter just gets everywhere and it's quite hard when you step on it. So I thought I would try her on this. I got this from work and it's the kitten friendly milled wood pellet cat litter. Um, I really do like the cat sand, very absorbent. Um, it retains the odour really well and it looks nice because it's white. However, this is a lot more eco-friendly. Put it straight into the compost if you have that. The bag is made of recycled plastic and I think this bag was only like five or six pounds and you get 10 litres. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this a go and um, I'll let you guys know what I think of it. I'm going to be returning these to work today because I did try Bella on um, this flavour yesterday of the nature's menu chicken broth and she didn't like it um so i'm going to return these three it's just a pate and i picked up this for her which is a really good brand um this is the dry food i want to switch her over to and i don't think she's going to like this because it's a pate i think i might keep this one actually um and just try her on it at some point but i just don't think she's going to like the texture she seems to prefer 
proper meat <laughs> rather than this mushy stuff. So I don't really think I need this. She's quite a calm and relaxed cat. She doesn't seem stressed or anything like that. And I also thought I would mention something about the untamed full on fishy flavour because um, I had a slight issue with this one and she ate the whole thing but then when I looked in at the bottom of her dish there was like three or four little bones so I did email the company I sent them a picture and I said hey uh, my cat really enjoyed the food but there's a couple of little bones in there is that normal are they supposed to be in there she's had other um, cat foods with fish in it and they've had no bones they did say there is actually a slight issue with the full-on fishy flavour it's something to do with the production and they're working on it and um, the customer service was great they actually gave me a full refund so the trial box that I got as you can see the box is still up there they actually just refunded me um, which is really cool so I got 12 tins for free so they did say the issue is only with this particular flavour because it's got um, not only tuna but it's also got sardines and mackerel which is a bit of a shame because she did really like this flavour. I've got two more tins of this so what I'll do is I'll probably just sieve through it and I still want to continue using the food because she really likes it and since I have been given her this I've tried her on three different flavours now or four 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 different flavors now so she's had the full-on fishy she had a tuna this morning she actually ended up eating the whole tin um she's had the choco chicken and the choco chicken with ham and since i've been feeding her them she just doesn't really like her high life pouches anymore the chicken pouches with the jelly which she used to love i think i'm gonna have to stick to um the untamed food but um, i'm gonna alter my subscription and just remove the full-on fishy flavor i think i might try some of the complimentary jelly flavors flavors as well and see how she gets on with them i think she'll probably like them to be fair and um yeah i think that's all the updates i have really this vlog is really 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 long i've been filming it for a little while now but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway bella at the moment i think she's just chilling she's just chilling in the living room um but i'll definitely do like more videos with her which well, she's gonna pretty much kind of be in almost all of my videos now but I will definitely do some um some more kitten um dedicated videos as well if that's what you would like to see um I'm actually off for a week so today's actually my last day at work and then I've got the week off uh, which is really nice because I've been working at the pet shop now for quite a few months I've been there since the end of April and I've not taken any holiday yet so it'll be really nice to have a week off and I'm going to try and get um Bella registered at the vet oh and before I go if you're wondering how she gets on with the hamsters because I've got Penelope back here and then I've got Bluebell um on top of my chest of drawers um she's okay with the hamsters she has her moments where she likes to sort of put her paws up on the plastic of um Penelope's cage and when she starts doing that I just remove her from my room uh Penelope doesn't seem to mind her she still comes out to play to eat and all that kind of stuff but it's only really in the evenings because Penelope doesn't come out at all until like seven, eight, nine o'clock. So during the day, you literally don't really hear or see her at all. If she does come out, it's very rare. And with Bluebell, she's quite old. She's all the way up there. So Bella can only see her if she's on the window ledge. And um, when Bluebell does come out, she's only out for a couple of minutes and then she runs back in her house. She doesn't really explore through her whole cage. And yeah, so that's how it is with the hamsters. And obviously in the evenings, I'm in my room and the cages are, um, quite secure because with the lids I myself have to lift them up with two hands they're quite they're quite heavy so I don't think there's any way Bella could actually get into the cages so thank you so 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 much for watching um let me know your thoughts of this vlog in the um comments um I can't wait to edit this video and get it up for you guys and yeah so I'll see you I'll see you guys soon so bye for now